Well, women's health is fundamental. The health of women is fundamental to the health of families. Our work is leading the world in women's health, innovative models of care. We're already the leaders here in Canada, and with the ongoing work of our scientists and with the support we're getting, we're soon going to be the leaders internationally in this area. We don't have a big research unit. We have approximately 20 scientists, but they're incredibly strong. They're publishing work in the world's leading medical journals. We're actually doing studies in about 30 different countries. We have a lot of interest in uh, seeing our work developing countries in uh, Asia and in South America. We've been working on several projects asking how genetic technology and other technologies can impact on both prevention, early detection, and uh, treatment of breast cancer in those countries. There's about 30,000 genes in every individual, but two of them called BRCA1 and BRCA2 for breast cancer 1 and breast cancer 2 are those which have the biggest impact on breast cancer risk. Everybody carries two normal copies of the gene, but if one happens to have a mutation inherited from one of the parents, that makes them at a very high risk of breast cancer. We think now about 10% of women in Canada will get breast cancer over their lifetime. But if you're born with one of the mutations in either of these two genes, that risk rises to about 80%. So our goal, our primary goal, is to prevent that. And so we have several strategies. Of course, the gold standard is still preventive surgery, but that's something we'd like to replace with, with better and more acceptable treatments like uh, taking a pill, a chemo prevention, lifestyle changes. Like a lot of the research here at Women's College Hospital, my research has been receiving international attention. We've published work showing that diabetes rates increased dramatically over the last decade in Ontario. This received international attention because the rates far surpassed what the WHO had predicted would only occur by 2030. My research has found that women with diabetes may have a higher risk of getting breast cancer and may have a worse prognosis once they develop breast cancer. The reasons for this association are not entirely clear. It could be related to the metabolic changes of diabetes, insulin resistance, and excess weight. It could also be related to high blood sugar levels. There's also evidence showing that women with diabetes may be less likely to be screened for breast cancer. They may have lower mammograms, and therefore this may lead to breast cancer being diagnosed at a more advanced stage, which may worsen their prognosis in that way. Our research conducted here at Women's College Hospital will have implications not just for our population, but will have implications for populations around the world. We will be the first to show that the type of care that we can deliver here at Women's College Hospital will be a better type of care, and that will improve care delivery and outcomes and will lead to improvements around the world. Our work is being cited at an incredibly high rate. People are really paying attention to the information that's coming out of our research organization. People are looking to us for models of care. So we're becoming the place where people from other countries are coming to, for examples, to find out how to do things better. It's an exciting place for us to be. We're a hospital that focuses on keeping people out of hospital, and our research focuses on how do we do that. We're like a living laboratory. We have the opportunity here of taking new models of care, testing them, evaluating them, finding out how to do it best, and bringing it out to the world. We're not going to be the place that provides all of the care to the world. We're not going to provide all of the care to our city or to the province. But what we are going to do is tell people how we should be doing it best, providing the information, providing the new models, that other people can use to help them provide care better.